Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. This week's video will be an unboxing, assembly, and a brief overview of these International Concept brand chairs. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because I have had a ton of questions and requests on how to make easy chairs, DIY chairs, and things of that nature. But the problem with chairs is that they're, they're a little more complicated than some of your basic builds. So in my opinion, this is the solution. So here I am taking everything out of the package in the box and if you look at this box here, they even give you a little surprise box that has nothing in it. But on a more serious note, everything is packaged up very well. All the hardware is included and all of the pieces of the chairs are usually wrapped up in plastic to keep them protected. You get an instruction manual, which is only a couple pages long. Now, normally I don't really use instruction manuals, but you can see here that I'm briefly looking through this. Honestly, the instructions kind of aren't even necessary. This is super easy to assemble. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the hardest, I would maybe give this a two. And really the only thing you need the instructions for is to see which bolts go where. So the lock washer followed by a regular washer goes on each bolt and then the longer bolts go in this part of the chair here. There's a hex key that's included that you can tighten these up that fits each of the bolts. And all that you have to do is put the bolts in and then tighten them up. And everything is already pre-drilled, pre-aligned with the threaded inserts in there so you do not have to modify this whatsoever. If you have an adjustable hex key or a multi-tool with different sizes, that would be the route that I would go. Makes it a little bit easier to tighten these up rather than using that Allen wrench that is supplied with this. Once you get the base of the seat frame attached to the back piece, you'll need to put the front legs on. I like to do this upside down and to keep it from tipping over, just throw something heavy on the front and then those front legs can be attached. So there are holes on two sides of the legs where those support spindles will go from leg to leg. So make sure that you have those lined up towards each other on the legs as well as the legs on the back. When you go to put the bolts in to secure the front legs, you wanna get them started, but you want to leave them loose so you can put the support spindle in. Here's a look at the spindles that will be used as the supports. So there's one long piece and then two smaller pieces. That long piece will go in the front and then the two smaller pieces on the sides. Each leg has a pocket hole drilled on each end, which will use screws to attach to the legs. So since the chair is upside down, make sure that you have those facing up, or if you're somehow doing the assembly with the chair over your head, then you want them to be facing down. Next, we just use the screws that were supplied with the chairs to bolt those support spindles into each of the legs, securing everything together. And since those pocket holes are facing the bottom of the chair, they will never be seen after the chair is completely finished. The only thing left is to attach the seat to the chair frame. So here I'm using the back leg of the chair to gauge how far the offset is on each side. And you just want to make that to where it's pretty close to equal. And then there are four pocket holes through the frame, which I am pointing to here, which we will use screws just like we did on the spindles earlier to attach the seat to the frame. And then the only real last step of this was to tear that sticker off on the bottom of the seat frame so that it would no longer be made in Vietnam and now it is made in my workshop. So here's a final look and some shots of the chairs whenever they were finished. You do get two of these in a pack. And honestly, I was pretty impressed by these chairs. They're really easy to put together. They're pretty sturdy and they have a really aesthetic look overall. From a builder's standpoint, these went together way quicker than something I would be able to build from scratch, so I'll use them again. Also, they were very easy to finish, and here's a couple pictures of the matching table and bench set that I made for these. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I hope you found this content useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more.